You can't grow plants with inert substrates. Okay, okay. So you can. Here's how. Welcome to another video. This is an aquarium channel. So if you want to learn more about aquariums and you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. So we're going to talk about growing plants in inert substrate as well as substrate or aquasol that has putered out or it's ran its course. Now, if you don't already know, aquasol, which is substrate that has been fertilized to grow plants, run out after a certain point. And depending on the brand, aquasol could last up to a year or a year or two. Unfortunately, for some people, redoing their tank is not a luxury they can afford. So the tips we talk about here about growing plants in inert substrate works for them as well. So first of all, let's quickly talk about how plants take in nutrients. We have to understand this. If you haven't already watched my beginner series video, which you could see over here, I go in depth about planted tanks and I do mention it there. But just to make things easy, if you haven't seen those videos yet, plants need nutrients. Aquarium plants are just plants. It's just like your regular plants you grow in your garden. And of course, like any plants, we have to feed it. We have to give it nutrients to grow when we are trying to grow it in a non-natural environment. And what happens if we don't feed aquarium plants fertilizers? You'll just end up with a Charlie Brown Christmas tree aquarium. Aww. Oh man, am I showing my age here? In other words, you have a tank full of plants, but they're probably going to be all stringy. They're not going to look full and lush and green. Again, just like any other plants on this world. Now, why wouldn't anyone use aqua soil for the planted tanks? Well, let's go through the argument here. Some people just don't want to go through the hassle of having to redo their tanks after that one or two year period of using aqua soil. It could be an extra expense. Sometimes it could get really expensive if you buy the aqua soil stuff. Finally, maybe they already have an established tank that they've been having for months or years and suddenly want to decide to try aquarium plants. Regardless of the reason, there's one thing you have to understand. You have to at least dose your water column. So really quickly, aquarium plants take nutrients in two ways. First, they take in nutrients from the roots. Heavy root feeders like Amazon swords or whatever will need nutrients coming in from the roots. Second, they get nutrients from the water column. Stem plants and plants with rhizomes like Anubias or Java ferns take in nutrients from the water column. Okay, got it? Two ways, roots, water column. Other than that, let's just go over some really quick pointers about how to grow aquarium plants with inert substrate. So how to get into it with as less hassle as possible. Like I said, you should at least dose the water column. So how to make it easy to dose your water column is just get all in one fertilizer. Now there's plenty of brands out there and the ones that I know of work well is Aquarium Co-op's all-in-one fertilizer, as well as Dustin's Fish Tank has an all-in-one fertilizer as well. What I use is something cheaper and lasts me a little longer, but it takes a little prepping time. And when I say a little prepping time, it's just a little prepping time and you have to make a bottle of it and it'll last you for quite a while. This is what I'm talking about. You get a bag for 20 bucks and this should last you a year or two, depending on how many tanks you're doing, how big of your tank you're doing. Basically, you take a quarter cup of this stuff and then mix it in with two cups of water. And you mix it up in the dispenser. You put about a drop or two a day, depending on how your plants look. And uh, you could always get into a routine where you put in maybe four drops every other two days or what have you. Again, you just have to base it on how your plants look. Heck, I even got it to the point where I'm just dosing once every two weeks, but that takes a little finesse. And I can't tell you how to do it with your tank because again, everyone's tanks is different. Everyone's tank is planted differently. So we got to tackle it on a tank to tank basis. But that's easily how you can dose the water column. Now, the hard part is when you come to inert substrate or the substrate that has run out of nutrients, because you got to somehow supply the nutrients to the root feeders. And that's simply done by root tabs. Now, there are tons of brands of root tabs out there. So, you know, there's a few that I could point you to. So just ask down in the comments down below. So every few months, maybe about three or four months, you want to put root tabs under the areas where you have planted your heavy root feeders. For me, I actually make my own do-it-yourself root tabs. It's cheap and it works great. Here's how I do it. Osmocote Plus, Dr. Iron Pellets, empty gelatin capsules. So to make them, it's really easy. You just take a bowl and put some Osmocote Plus in there and you mix some of the iron in there. So maybe about maybe 10 pellets to one iron pellet. And then you just stick it into the empty capsules. Do it while you're watching Netflix. Now do it while you're binge watching my videos. Sure, it's a little more set up ahead of time, but you save a lot more money in the long run. Is it safe? For me, it worked well. 
a lot of people posted that, oh, there's a lot of ammonia release when the capsules were released and it killed my fish or what have you. I never had that problem, but that's something you have to watch out for. If you want to know more about do yourself fruit taps, just go ahead and put the comments down below. Help you where I can. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments going, well, what if I don't want to use root tabs? Okay, I know it's a hassle and it's a pain in the butt, but yeah, you can try to go without root tabs. Here's some tips about doing it without root tabs and only dosing your water column. First of all, if you're not going to use root tabs, then try not using sand. The reason why is if you got something like pool filter sand in there, it's just harder for the nutrients to get down into the substrate. Instead, use regular medium gravel. This can give the nutrients in the water column to kind of just leach into the substrate itself. It's not very efficient, but it works. The other thing is install an underwater gravel filter. This works great because of the nature of how under gravel filters work. Basic concepts of under gravel filter is that it pulls the water into the substrate and cycles it through the substrate to actually filter the water of your aquarium. Problem with that is if you don't already have an under gravel filter, you're going to have to tear apart your tank and install one. So that might not be the best choice for you. That's two tips to go without using root taps. Now the real question is, what if you don't want to dose the water column and what if you don't want to use root taps? Let's just be honest, don't grow plants. Stick with plastic plants. Stick with the little diver guy with bubbles going out of his mask. Hey, it's okay. Sometimes if you don't want to bother with supplying live plants with the basic nutrients it needs to grow, there's just no point because your plants are not going to look really good and you might as well just go off with regular decorations or plastic plants. But like everything in this hobby, to make something look beautiful, you got to put a little work into it. So if putting down root tabs every three or four months or dosing your water column every other day or every other week is too much work for you, then just don't do it. Now, I'm not trying to discourage you from getting the planted tanks, but there's extra work involved in order to grow live plants in an aquarium. Let me rephrase that. To grow healthy, luscious, gorgeous plants in an aquarium, there's going to be extra work involved. That's it. I hope this helped you out. Remember, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and like this video if it helped you in any way. And I will talk at you guys in the next video.